Malik General. It's with great pride and a profound sense of responsibility that I stand before you today to speak to you on Azerbaijan's commitment to hosting the COP29 UN Climate Change Conference scheduled for November 11 to November 22 this year in our beautiful capital, Baku. It's with great pride and profound sense of responsibility uh, the impacts of climate change are increasingly evident. Greenhouse gas emissions from human activities have led to unprecedented heat waves, prolonged droughts, devastating floods, and other extreme weather events disrupting the planet's climate balance and affecting nations worldwide. Climate challenges demand urgent and unified action from all countries. Climate change is a global challenge that goes beyond national borders. Rising global temperatures affect livelihoods globally on a daily basis. Climate change is not a future risk. It is a real and present danger. Azerbaijan, as you know, was chosen to host COP29 in December 2023 with unanimous support from all countries. It showcases the recognition of Azerbaijan's leadership and efforts in addressing climate change at the national, regional, and the global scales. We are dedicated to further promoting global solidarity and unity in addressing the challenges of climate change. It's important to listen to all parties to understand their expectations and help them refine potential landing zones based on a shared vision of success so that we can deliver a fair and ambitious new goal. In order to effectively combat the effects of climate change, the declaration of 2024 as the year of solidarity for green world in Azerbaijan expands the opportunities for all layers of the Azerbaijani society, including vulnerable groups, to be a part and equal, to be a part and equal participation of this multilateral cooperation process and makes great contributions to ensuring inclusion. In order to emphasize the role of women in climate action, I think it is necessary to mention some key points first. The extensive participation of women in the organizing committee for preparations for COP29, the perfect protection of gender balance, especially in mandated positions, is a clear example of attitude of leadership of Azerbaijan to this aspect of the issue. The gender composition of both the organizing committee and the participating teams, volunteers involved in activity with all its sites and the NGOs, which is now in the most important part of the preparation process, indicates a balanced level of participation and effective representation of women. Regarding the work done in this field, I would like to note that the main content of related activities in Azerbaijan is the factor of the gender equality, ensuring the equal participation of women and children at the national and international level on bilateral and multilateral basis. The State Committee for Family of Women and Children Affairs of Azerbaijan carries out its activities both in preparation for COP29 and the frame, in the framework of the Year of Solidarity for the Green World approved by the Action Plan. According to the plan, the issue of increasing the participation and contribution of civil society activists including about 100 NGOs in the process against the effects of the climate change were discussed at the conference organized on the topic of increasing the role of civil society in the field of ensuring ecological balance and human rights in March of this year. At the same time, the annual family festival was held both in our capital and without exemption in all our regions with the motto environmental thinking starts with the family. 
I would like to mention that until the end of this year, events for the sake of the green world will continue among women, children, families and communities. Flash mobs of various content, educational actions will be organized in Azerbaijan. With the participation of all partners, we will focus our activities on this topic, especially on mobilizing efforts aimed at increasing the role of, role of women. Thank you very much for the attention.